Welcome to a brand new episode of the Healthy Sleep Revolution podcast. I am your host, Dr. Magna Dasani. Today, I wanted to touch upon the relationship between CBD and sleep. Is there a connection? Are there any potential benefits? And if so, what are those? I get these questions a lot. And today I decided we are going to dive in and see what it is that we can do. Can we do anything? So CBD or cannabidiol has gained a lot of attention lately, it, mainly for its therapeutic properties, including its ability to promote better sleep. And as more people are seeking more natural and alternative therapies to traditional sleep aids, CBD seems to have become a a popular option. So what I want to touch upon is the relationship between CBD and sleep. We want to talk about the benefits. Are there benefits? Uh, What are the potential side effects? How can this and how does this impact our body's endocannabinoid system. So what is CBD? It's a natural chemical that is found in the cannabis sativa plant. Now there are about, I want to say a hundred different cannabinoids in cannabis. CBD is one of them. Now, unlike THC, which is another well-known cannabinoid, CBD does not produce that psychoactive high that effect. In fact, it is one that makes you feel calm and relaxed. CBD interacts with our body's endocannabinoid system, the ECS, and I'll talk about it in just a bit. And what this ECS helps with is it helps to regulate the various physiological processes, mood, um, appetite, immune function, sleep. And a lot of patients or a lot of people, when I you know, talk to patients in the practice and even patient people, a lot of people use these CBD products to help reduce their anxiety. They also use it to alleviate pain, inflammation, or help it manage a medical condition. Um, Again, everything we discussed today, it's not medical advice. Please work with your primary care physicians, with your MDs, to figure out what is the best option for you. But a lot of people have also been known to use CBD products to help promote better sleep. And typically, the more common forms of CBD that I have found are um, oil, tinctures, gels, gummies, capsules. Um, also topical products like lotions and sometimes even in cosmetic. Um, but the, the regulatory status for CBD varies by country, varies by region, by state. In the United States, hemp was removed from the Federal Controlled Substances Act making hemp-based CBD legal and regulated at um, a federal level. Again, look up you know, your information, do your research, talk to your MDs before you decide what is right for you or what it is that you may attempt to um, try. Uh, certain states still actually consider any cannabis products to be illegal. And then there are some that will permit CBD to, to be used for medical purposes only. Hence, the disclaimer to make sure you are working with your MDs. Um, You never ever want to take guesses about your health, okay? So uh, the endocannabinoid system um, we talked about, it's that complex regulatory system in our body. It helps to maintain homeostasis or balance across various physiological functions. And it consists of three main components, the endocannabinoids, the receptors, and the enzyme. Now, the relationship between the ECS, the endocannabinoid system, and sleep has become an area of interest for researchers lately, as well as for folks that want alternative um, approaches to want to get to better sleep, deeper sleep, uh, sleep that actually makes them feel more rested, is less uh, fragmented, and all of that. Now, CBD has been known to interact with the ECS in a more indirect manner. It influences the activity of the cannabinoid receptors as well as other neurotransmitter systems. How how can this uh, endocannabinoid system and CBD possibly positively impact your sleep quality? It has been um, shown to regulate the sleep-wake cycle. The CB1 receptors are primarily abundant in the central nervous system, including the areas that help with sleep regulation. So modulation of these receptors by the endocannabinoids or even exogenous cannabinoids like CBD may influence that sleep-wake cycle. And CBD has been shown to reduce stress and anxiety. It has 
anxiolytic, which is anxiety reducing and stress relieving properties. Stress and anxiety we know contributes to sleep disturbances, right? Insomnia, you're waking up at night, even after you've fallen asleep. And by interacting with the receptors in the ECS, especially the CB1 receptors, the CBD has been shown, CBD has been shown to reduce anxiety and possibly promote a more relaxed state of mind that is then more conducive to sleep. A third thing that it has been shown um, to help or a third way it has been shown to help is by managing pain. Now we know that CBD has anti-inflammatory as well as analgesic properties. Chronic pain patients struggle with insomnia, struggle with sleep, and also struggle with um, the quality of sleep. So by reducing pain and inflammation, CBD may contribute to improved sleep, uh, especially in these patients that have been struggling with pain-related sleep disturbances. It can also modulate REM sleep. CBD um, can affect that duration and the intensity of rapid eye movement, REM sleep. Now we know, we've talked about this, REM is an important part. It's when your brain is healing, right? It's when we're, the two stages of sleep are REM and non-REM. Non-REM is uh, when the physical healing happens. Then REM is when the brain is actually healing, repairing, resting itself. That is also when we have vivid dreams. That is when there is memory consolidation. So the role of CBD on this endocannabinoid system may play a role in modulating those sleep patterns, uh, especially the REM sleep patterns. Now, the dosage and timing, that's a question I get asked so frequently. Again, this is a question for your MDs, for your medical providers that you work with. You know, it's going to depend on the age of the patient, how old you are, um, the weight, uh, what are how severe are the sleep issues also, whether your state allows this or not. So this is something you want to make sure you are working with your medical providers to be able to come up with the right game plan for your body. Um, a key thing to remember that the effects of CBD may not be instantaneous. There is no magic wand that we can wave. Um, sometimes consistent use over time may be what may be required um, to get to that sleep quality. Um, working with the right healthcare provider, super, super important, making sure you're having these conversations with your MD. Work with them to get you to the place that you need to, to be able to get that healthy sleep quality. I hope this helps share this episode. I will see you next time.